A dog that lost his paw to cancer gets a new leash on life thanks to some local high school students. Yes, his mom teaches at Providence Day School and she asked students there to help create a prosthetic leg. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden shares what happened next. So this is Bentley, totally adorable, the sweetest thing you can imagine when he came to school and the students actually met him. They wanted to help and they did. Hi, She's my best friend. I can't imagine life without him. Ashley Liberto has had Bentley since he was just a puppy. <laughs> now eight, she worried when he wasn't quite himself last year. In February, he started to get a swollen elbow, so I took him to the vet and he um, found out we had a soft tissue sarcoma in his elbow. So really the only option was to either put him down or take his leg. The vet amputated Bentley's right front leg. Yeah, it was very nerve wracking. It was scary. After surgery, the golden retriever was still very much himself. It was just amazing to see his recovery and will to live. Oh. But Bentley tires easily, compensating for his missing leg. So Ashley, a math teacher at Providence Day School, thought maybe some of her former students could help. We were working on some more simple stuff like keychains or like little candle lights, essentially. This was a very massive leap. She challenged the students in the school's 3D printing class to build a prosthetic leg. How could you not help Bentley, obviously? Senior Brandon Hollis led a team of students who created this harness and leg. Just seeing Bentley walk into class and um, having Bentley be there and seeing that very real impact that this project was going to have on uh, someone's life, uh, that was really something special. Students are amazing, especially our kids. Um, they just have this imagination and this brain that is so big and they want to do big things in life. Good job! Bentley is now cancer free and still getting used to the new harness and leg and clearly isn't letting his bout with cancer keep him down. Good job! Good job, Ben! You're so good! So the students are still working on the harness. They actually want to make the material just a little bit lighter, easier for Bentley to deal with. They say they hope to have a finished product in the next couple of weeks. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.